hey guys it's your girl t here again and i'm back with another video so guys that was how i went to buy koji sand soup and i ended up getting the fake koji sand soup and you guys this was one of the most painful experiences i have ever had when it comes to buying skincare products you guys you do not want to buy a fake product because buying a fake product is very very painful first of all it will make you to waste your money you guys i got the soap for 2000 naira a whole 2000 naira and it is a very small soap and this thing ended up being thick today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can easily know the fake soap so that you do not fall into the same tribe i fell so that you don't make my mistake okay so guys the very first thing to look out for is this zero pigment light on the top of the packet of the soap you guys, any gorgeous and soap you're going to be buying as of today must have this zero pigment light on it, okay? If it doesn't have the zero pigment light that I'm touching right now on it, then it is most definitely the fake Kojisan soap because Kojisan has repackaged and rebranded their products and now all their soaps have this zero pigment light on it. So anyone you are buying that doesn't have it, just know somewhere in the back of your mind that that soap is not the original. So look out for that. Look out for zero pigment lights, okay? The second way you can use to know the fake Koji Sand soap. You guys take a very good look at this soap in my hand. This soap here is not in any way the original Koji Sand. It is highly, highly fake. And the second way you can use to know that is by opening it and looking at the bar soap. Now, when I say look at it, I mean you're going to smell it. Smell the soap. The original Koji Sand soap is supposed to have a fruity fragrance not too overpowering but at the same time it is supposed to have a fruity fragrance so when you open your koji sand soap and you perceive a very strong perfumed fragrance that is not the original koji sand soap because the original soap smells fruity has a kind of citrusy smell and not a perfumed fragrance not a highly perfumed fragrance okay also, if you perceive any funny smell like washing soap, you guys, this soap I bought smelled like washing soap, like it had a washing soap kind of smell. So that just showed me that that is not the original Koji Sand soap. The original Koji Sand soap is supposed to have a sweet smelling fruity fragrance, but not a heavily perfumed fragrance, okay? That is one way you can use to know the soap. Another way is by taking a very good look at the packaging of the soap. You guys, I'm showing you guys the soap packaging up close, up front, so that you will know how it is, okay? Another thing to look out for is the color of the soap. You guys can see the color of the soap. To be honest, the color of the soap looks a lot similar to the original soap. So that is one thing that really tricks me when I was buying the soap. It looks very much similar to the original soap. The original Koji Sand soap soap is supposed to have a burnt orange color so if the soap is not having burnt orange color it most likely isn't the original koji sand soap it is not supposed to have a bright orange when i say bright orange i mean like a very bright shouty orange no the orange color is supposed to look like burnt orange you guys know what burnt orange is look at the color of this soap this color is very much similar to the original koji sand soap it is supposed to have a burnt orange not bright orange not yellowish not any other color but burnt orange the way this color is is supposed to look similar to that but this is not the original soap but it's supposed to look similar to this okay so you guys take note of the color of the soap but don't be deceived make sure you look at other things before you determine if it is the original you guys if you are enjoying this video so far please give this video a thumbs up okay it's going to help me a lot help me by liking this video and if up till now you're not subscribed to my channel please support me by subscribing okay so let's just go back to the packaging of the soap how is the packaging of the original koji sand soap supposed to look this packaging to be honest resembles the original soap almost identically 
but you guys should wisen up open your eyes this is how the original is supposed to look but one thing that will tell you that the soap is not original is by taking notes of the manufacturing and the expiry date i learned that the original cottage and soap expires two years after it is being produced so if you buy a koji sand soap and when you check the expiry date, when you check the manufacturing date, you see that it was manufactured like four years, you know, like the, the products last for four years. For example, on my own, it was manufactured in 2022 and it expired in 2026, meaning that this project has a, this product has a shelf life of four years. That is most likely an expire um, and a fake soap, okay? Because the original soap is supposed to have a shelf life of two years. So, if your soap is produced in 2022, then it should, it should be expiring in 2024. It's not supposed to last longer than two years, okay? So, if you see Koji San soap that they produced in 2022 and is expiring in 2026 or 2028 or 2030, that is most likely the fake one because the original one is supposed to last for two years before it expires that is one thing i saw so you guys can see that i made a mistake when i was buying mine i didn't look out for that i got my own and it expired four years after the produce it lasted for four years okay so take note of that make sure that it's having a shelf life of two years if it is made in 2022 let it be expiring in 2020 four let it not last more than that if not that may not be the original soap look out for the packaging if you want to get coaches and soap make sure that you do your research properly because there are so many fakes of the soaps lying around and these people are just looking for who they're going to cheat they're going to sell the soap to you at the same price as the original koji san soap and when you buy it it's not going to do anything that is how you will know that you got the fake soap so you guys take note of how it looks on the packaging make sure you look at it and make sure you still go back and look at the soap remember what i said the original koji san soap does not have a bright orange color it does not have a pinkish or yellowish color the color is burnt orange it does not have a heavily perfumed smell it does not have a washing soap smell this is my own it smells like washing soap so the original koji san soap is not supposed to have a washing soap smell okay Instead, it is supposed to have a natural fruity smell. Like once you perceive a fruity fragrance, you will know. Anything that smells like washing soap or smells heavily perfumed most likely isn't the original Koji San soap. So please, you guys should take note of that because this soap, they're going to sell it to you at the same price of the original Koji San soap. And Koji San soap is not really a cheap soap. So you guys, I bought my own for 2000 Naira and it ended up being the fake soap. I was so angry, I was so pissed. That is why I'm taking out time to make this video up close for you guys to take note of some of the things I have noticed about this soap okay if your koji san soap is not working you have been using koji san soap for one month and you're not seeing any noticeable improvement in your skin tone that is one way to tell you that that soap you're using is not the original soap so guys if you notice any of these things just run for your life okay that soap is not the original soap and this brings us to the end of today's video please you guys don't fall victim don't be like me don't buy this fake soap okay i'll see you in my next one bye